Welcome to another World of Solo Craft. So today's episode, I wanted to look at some Azeroth core modules that you could use to create your own solo classic plus experience. Bloody hell, that is solo classic plus experience. Say that fast ten times. Solo oh, classic plus experience. Solo classic plus experience. There we go, got there in the end. I think this would be a fun project. So let's dive into some modules and then we will look at some private server communities that are already bringing you Classic Plus today. Because BlizzCon is just around the corner, I thought this would make for a really interesting topic. Not to mention almost everyone has been talking about this, everyone has got their theories about Classic Plus, and I want to explore what we can do ourselves as solo players. Who knows, maybe you could even craft your own experience better than Blizzard can. We'll also take a look at existing private servers that offer a Classic Plus experience today. And who knows, perhaps Blizzard are already collecting ideas from these servers and that's what we're going to see announced at blizzcon maybe first the modules i've got seven modules to show you and they all offer something cool and unique just keep in mind that these are modules for azeroth core and they may not work with other cores such as mangos c mangos or trinity however you are welcome to try if you wish and report back in the comments below okay so the first module we're going to be looking at is mod guildhouse it hijacks the gm island map and repurposes it as a guildhouse it's not the worst idea i've seen and some people might really like this and it actually makes me wonder whether we're ever actually going to see housing come to world of warcraft Mod Guildhouse allows you to upgrade your guildhouse with vendors and other cool items. Most things can be customized and honestly, it's pretty cool. Next up, we have Solo LFG, that's looking for group, and Auto Balance. I'm showing you two modules at once here because they complement each other really well. Solo LFG lets you queue for dungeons and raids as a group of one, hence Solo. That's great for doing things. Well, solo. Obviously. Once you've used solo LFG to get into a dungeon, auto balance will then literally buff you based on your level, the size of your party, and the dungeon you've gone into. This means you'll be able to solo that content and farm the hell out of it. However, just keep in mind that certain mechanics can't be soloed, such as certain fights in the Ice Crown Citadel. Next up, we have Trial of Strength. This is a really good example of what can be achieved by just one individual developer. It introduces a soloable arena where you can take on waves of combatants, getting rewards as you go, but also curses that make it harder and harder. Next up is Hard Mode, and it's the same author as Trial of Strength. Hard Mode lets you create entirely customizable hardcore like modes you just use the provided web ui to tick some boxes update the database and off you go this could be used to create some really challenging gameplay modes unavailable in retail next we have npc enchanter this module allows you to spawn an npc that can enchant any items we have on our character with some pretty cool enchants again this kind of stuff introduces new and dynamic features to your server and finally we have stat booster also by the same author of Trial of Strength and Hard Mode. What I like about this module is the randomized stat you get on the items. This is yet another way of adding some more interesting dynamics to your solo server. Now let's look at some existing projects that may already be bringing us Classic Plus. I've got three projects for you today, but if you'd like me to cover more private servers and go into a bit more detail than what I do in this video, then please let me know in the comments below. First we have Chromicraft. This is a sort of official server for the Azeroth Core project. They take their open source routes very seriously and as such you get a very faithful, stable experience. Some of Chromicraft's key features include challenge modes such as Hardcore, Iron Man and Bloodthirsty. They've changed the base quest XP rate to 2x until level 68, after which everything is blizz like They've even got some cool custom commands like Carbon Copy, which lets you make a copy of your character so you can repeat certain level ranges should you wish. Finally, Chromacraft has a very active Discord community, not to mention the fact the Azeroth core developers themselves are very heavily involved in its day-to-day -day operation, maintenance and stability. Next, we have Project Ascension. This project is crazy. The work they've put into this makes it an entirely new game. I almost never included this project because oh, in my mind, it's just not even classic plus. It's like classic next level. I think you will find this project very fascinating. One of its biggest features is the classless system. This lets you build whatever class you like, literally. You can take abilities from multiple classes and just sort of mash them together. This is absolutely bonkers. They've got so much, including modes like Iron Man, Resolute, and Nightmare, and just so much more that you can really 
really just change up your gameplay and if you want to you can punish yourself like crazy. Overall the project is extremely well maintained. It has a massive Discord community with over 100,000 members and it comes highly recommended. It has an English speaking community but it is primarily a Russian based project. And finally we have Turtle Wow. Established in 2018 this is another stable very well polished project that offers possible classic plus features and ideas. It looks extremely well run and I think it's worth checking out if you're chasing that classic plus feeling with some extra new stories thrown into the mix. Turtle Wow's features include additional playable races, new factions and quests, whole new locations, maps and more. Turtle Wow has a very active discord and the future changes look really really promising. Again I think this is a project that you're going to find very exciting indeed. And that's it for today's video but I have a question for you. What does Classic Plus mean to you? What are you expecting to see at BlizzCon in just a few days actually? Are you already playing on these projects? Are you already playing on Turtle? Are you already playing on Ascension? Let me know. Until next time. Stay safe.